What's up guys, Gerald with Roof King Products and Roman Roof Cleaning. I wanted to do a quick example right quick of how to mount the Roof King 12. Uh, a lot of people have no trouble, but there's some that have a few questions, so I thought I'd try to make it a little easier on you guys. Uh, first thing to know is, uh, you know, the, uh, the system comes with, it comes just like you see it. Uh, it does come with these extra uh, nuts on the back. That's what you use to tighten them up onto the machine with. Uh, it also comes with three of these banjo clamps. So what you do is you get it lined up up here. You want to make sure and give yourself some distance in here so that these banjo clamps can come inside here and latch. <clears throat> and it's going to be tight uh, because this system is small. That's one, that's one reason we made it this way. But then also, you, you want to get it as tight as you can here, and that way you have room down at the bottom. So the thing is, on this system, you can tell, it doesn't matter how low it is, because down here at the bottom, there's nothing that's going to prohibit it here. But if this was sitting in the back of a truck, obviously you'd have to be really careful with the bottom so that it doesn't hit the truck when you get it mounted. So also make sure and look at that part. But the best way to do it is get it, you know, get it up here, get it mounted, get it, get it measured, grab you a... Uh, a a marker and then mark your spots let it down grab your screw gun and your drill bit drill those, drill those holes out come back in and just slide your roof king 12 right on there then at that point you just grab the the nuts that secure it on the back stick them on there It takes either a 9 or a 11.30 seconds to tighten them up. Either one of those will work. So uh, just get them all good and tight. At that point, you put your banjo fittings on your hoses. Run them around here and clamp them on. And then at that point, you just need to make sure that... Your hose does not lay against this pipe because this pipe gets super hot, so it'll melt a hole into your hose. So make sure it doesn't touch that. And then also you need to grab your air hose. I recommend getting a 25 foot, even though you're going from here to the air compressor, uh, there is a saying or there's there's been it's been studied that if you, the longer that it, uh, that it stays in this hose, it heats, it heats the air back up some, and it'll keep your the valve in your, in your pump from freezing. So it also helps trap a little bit of the moisture. Uh, like I said, I'm not really educated on that part, but uh, that's what I've, that's what I've been told. So just hook the air up. And what I typically do is just put some pull ties around this extra stuff and uh, set it somewhere, plug that in, and uh, also need to run a hose from here to your hose reel, and the way, the way we put these, these fittings on here, we use a soft set uh, pipe dope, so this fitting, it's gonna be a little bit snug, but you can turn that one. You can turn it to just whatever direction that you want to turn it. So obviously we're going to turn it back this way so that we can run it uh, back behind the, the compressor. And that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any problems mounting yours up, uh, don't hesitate to give me a call, and uh, I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Y'all have a good one.